I'm Mayor Kirk Hensaker, and I'm honored to be able to be here tonight on this occasion. Um, I, it's just amazing to me how change happens and things, things continue to happen. And uh, this is what we're here tonight for. And we're, we're grateful for your, you being here and your participation. We'd like to begin with a word of prayer, and I'd ask uh, City Manager Ben Ray to offer a prayer. good men who sit before us and for the years of service that they performed on behalf of our community, for the lives that they've saved, for the homes that they've protected, and for the citizens they've served. We're grateful to be gathered here to honor them this evening and ask thee to bless us with thy spirit and to bless these good men as they go forth in their different challenges and their different directions that they, they might do so with thy guided hand. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I'd like to introduce the, the city council to you. It's on the, the west side of the building here. We have council member uh, Nick Miller, uh, council member uh, Keith Broadway, yes, and uh, Lynn Meekham, uh, Betsy Montoya, and Chelsea Rowley. And uh, along with myself, I am so grateful for all the service they do for our community and for them being here tonight. Um, we also have a, our city council meeting coming up in half an hour, so that's why we kind of want to uh, get this done and, and enjoy the evening with you before we go do that. First of all, uh, Dan, Stephen, would you come up here, please? We gather today to express our sincere thanks for two of Santa Quinn's fire department's finest. Words cannot express the gratitude for this father-son team. Dan joined the department approximately 40 years ago, with Stephen joining approximately 17 years ago. Over the last six years, as Stephen has served as chief, together they have forged a department legacy. We express our heartfelt gratitude to both of you for your service to the residents of this community, the surrounding communities, and most of all, to the members of this top-notch fire department. We have a token of appreciation for each of you, so hang on, don't go anywhere. Be honest with you, 
if they said, hey, we have a call today and, and they wanted me to go, I would go just like this. So I know that's past me now, though. The radio's gone, the pager's gone. My phone's still working, though. But, uh, you know, it's, it's been a wonderful opportunity to work with the great men and women that uh, have served alongside of us through the years. And I don't know how many there are, but there's 55 or so of the best ones ever. And uh, some of the greatest friends that, that I've worked with here that have already moved on. I'm grateful for the city. And uh, I think through the years, probably seen 10 or 12 mayors, and uh, maybe not that many. Yeah, I was one of them, and he was the best. But what I what I do know, though, is our city supports this fire department, and they do all they can to make sure we have gear and we have the equipment we need and the training. And uh, this is one of the best small departments, small city departments, I think there is in the state. I've seen them in my travels all over the world, and I still think this is one of the greatest ones. I'm grateful to everybody in this community. I'm just uh, excited, sorry to see it end, but uh, it has been wonderful to uh, serve. I appreciate and love everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Wow, where to begin? Um, 17 years ago, almost exactly, I got off an airplane from Japan, and uh, as I, one of the last letters I got from my family, my dad said, hey, why don't you come try out for the fire department? And at the time, I just kind of, like, thought, well, why not? What have I got to lose? And little did I know that that one move would be, would set the course for the rest of my life, basically, as I uh, tra took training opportunities and education, and it became a career path for me. Um, this last six years, and all of it, really, um, has been incredible to work with each of the firefighters, the EMTs, the city staff. Um, I, I was, um, at the time when I was promoted to chief, I had so much enthusiasm and so much excitement and so many big dreams that together we have uh, worked towards accomplishing and we have seen some amazing advancements here. And uh, I'm reminded of an of a instructor I had who said, even when you're on top, you're never on top of anything. You're always in the middle. So even though you may have a title like a fire chief, and you think you're, uh, before, you, before you get too proud of yourself, just remember that there are people that depend on you, there's people that rely on you, that you're all part of a team, and no one person can do anything uh, by themselves of, of much. Um, even a fire chief answers to a council, a mayor, the city, the residents, there's an expectation from the public. And I, I can say I've done the very best I could to live up to that and to provide for the safety of everyone in this town, everyone who crossed through here, who drove down the freeway. They've been on my mind this entire time of what, what could the fire department do to be better prepared to respond in case there was an emergency. Um, now, there's a new chapter in my life where uh, my family and I have, have relocated and, and we've just this last few days moved up into Harriman and it's, it's been bittersweet to say the least. I, I miss this place. This is 
where my childhood was, my formative years, um, my, we've raised our kids here, but um, now we have new opportunities before us there, and we're going to face that with the same kind of enthusiasm and the same kind of energy. And so for the, the firefighters and EMTs right now, I just want to say I love you. I love you guys. I did everything I could to see that, see that you had what you needed, the resources, the training, and other opportunities to help you excel at the job. And I know that Chief Lind is going to do that same thing. He's an amazing leader, and he's going to take you the next couple of huge strides forward where my time has now come to an end. So take that energy, take that enthusiasm, and just keep running down the road with it. And I'm just so grateful, Mayor, for the, for the chance that we've had and the council for, for giving me this opportunity to lead. So, thank you. Thank you. Well, with the, the leaving, we need to, to swear in our new chief. So, I'd like, we would like to be first to swear in. No, come on out. Uh, Susan Farnsworth will be giving the oath of office. It's not on the paper. I don't have to do anything. It's not on the paper. Well, I want to tell you, uh, we have a number of applicants for our fire chief. And the opportunity to sit down with each one of them and go through the interview process to hear what type of good men and women we have in our, our community was just it was amazing to me. And it was a tough decision. It really was because I didn't have six, but I interviewed a kid in the fire chief at one time or another. But right now, I knew as soon as I interviewed Ryan that he was the one. And I'd like to introduce you to you to him as the next fire chief of San Jose Fire Department. So, Susan, you're up now. Six years ago, when the position became available, Steve and I spent many of the nights talking. Um, and back then, I can say they got the, the best candidate, and Steve and I worked together. There's a lot of things I learned from both Steve and I, and they'd be big shoes to fill. Um, the good thing is they're a phone call away, even if one's a parent. I know he works full time, and he's, he's truly a good friend. I can consider him a brother. Um, Dan, he's more of a dad. He's been on the fire department as long as I've been alive. And he has big shoes to fill and he has a valuable resource. And the good thing is, he's just up the road. And he still wants to be a part of this department and I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve. I love each one of you guys. Um, and I'm here, my door's open. I want to talk with you, visit with you, and take us to the next level. Um, even though I have a new title, I'm still one of you and I want to be one of you. So I appreciate this opportunity and look forward to a great new chapter. Thank you. Thank you. I think we 
love something that you can put on him. Thank you. 